Alright, so this video is going to be on the shorter side of things, as all I really plan to do here are two things. Those things are publicly denouncing a past acquaintance of mine, and clarifying and debunking a rumor that this acquaintance and his group are pushing against me. As I'm going to be mentioning artists that aren't directly involved in this, I would ask that you not go out of your way to harass them. Last thing I need is more drama stemming from me trying to clarify my standing and moving on with myself. I know people following me are probably getting tired of this constant self-flagellation going on my part, so I'll cut that out and just give you a straight rundown through both points. So let's get into it by starting with the person I'll be denouncing in this video, Cass Warfox. I assumed I had denounced him previously after he had been subjected to public criticism at the hands of Lyle Convoy, as well as me just publicly stating I didn't stand by him anymore and distancing myself from him. But for the sake of clarity, here's me saying it again. I don't stand by Cass Warfox, as not only has he been shown to possess the same mentality as a vindictive high schooler, unable to take criticism to save his life, but he's also someone who has no problem throwing people under the bus with falsified evidence just to play off these skeletons in his own group's closet. As you can expect, that's how the allegations I'm going to be talking about came to be in the first place as there is the question of why is this happening now. I mean, we had been acquaintances for more than a year, right? In that year, I haven't exactly been too quiet about the kind of stupid stuff I got into as a teen growing up. Now, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I had actually planned to do this little video where I cancelled myself. By going through all the fucked up degeneracy I did online as a kid, essentially treating myself like the people I cover. While most of what I did wasn't manipulative, and came from being a dumb, selfish, serotonin-driven kid who wanted to make people happy. The fact those actions went on for about two years has still yet to sit right with me. And I thought putting that feeling in some sort of tangible thing I could look back on to remind myself how much I've changed from then would help. The only thing was, the more I recalled events, it became a bit hard to actually forge a competent video off of memory alone as I deleted my old accounts so I wouldn't be able to go back to that unhealthy habit that fucked me over mentally. The video would have been a few minutes of me rambling about how some horny 16 year old me got a taste of forces animations, spiraled into finding the wrong Pokemon hot, making a discord pokey yif empire off of a tumblr blog where I reposted other people's artwork, posed as a 25 year old dude during the whole thing while faking getting into a relationship, breaking up, and then living in a car before finally confessing the entire act to my close friends, who took it a lot better than I expected, yet still feeling so guilty about it all that I pretty much developed a case of imposter syndrome that haunts me to this very day. I mean, I can be found on record admitting to engaging in erotic Pokemon roleplay as a Joltik when I was a teen. That's information you'd have to waterboard out of most people. Meanwhile with me, that's just become an inside joke in my Discord server. I bring this up to say that I'm quite aware of the kind of person I was in the past. I'm quite aware that, like most people I cover, there are some pretty questionable things in my past. It's that self-awareness that tells me I don't have to put on some higher than thou smug asshole persona when talking about the wrongs of other people who are relatively worse than me. And if I don't have to pretend to be that smug asshole, why should I continue dealing with people who do just that? That's why I'm spending this video as a last acknowledgement of Cass and his group. Despite the fact that they seem rather hung up on a mistake of mine, to the point of continuously wanting to drag me down to their level. Even to the point of resorting to Twitter follows as a gotcha moment. That'll lead us into the allegations being pushed towards me. That despite what I say, supposedly I'm someone who's into cub and feral smut. Let me give you the context. So, following the fallout of Coyote Lovely, Cass Warfox and his group, the Fox Mafia, a name completely devoid of any and all seriousness at this point, would find themselves in a squabble against a YouTuber by the handle of Lyo Convoy and his Discord server known as The Senate. Lyo has since released a video going over his own issues with the group, so watch that if you'd like more context on the situation. Although you might have some questions once you reach the end of it. I was deadly serious when I said during my call with Coyote Lovely that I am on a zero tolerance policy. And that includes Cass Warfox. Oh, and Lagovert, you're not exempt. You and I are going to have a chat. I've been polite with you, and you have disrespected that courtesy. 
your nonsense will be answered for too. Predator hunting is to help victims, regardless of what the Fox Mafia says. And if that's not your intent, stay out. Being so weak as to allow someone as pathetic as Cass Warfox to take control of your server is a weakness no victim needs from somebody defending them. So what this is referencing is the time in which I was a spineless bitch, to put it lightly. I want to say that after standing by Coyote so adamantly, only to get fucking floored watching him on Cass's livestream, I felt oddly indebted to Cass in the sense. But after reflecting on what occurred on my soil, that being Cass and crew spreading vile allegations of Lyo being sexual with Hopeless Peaches, a member of his found family, and with this being something I could very easily have put a stop to, yeah, there's there's no excuse for me not intervening. I was just a full-on doormat in that case. A doormat that would justifiably get chewed out by Lyo and Peaches days afterward, the two chastising me for my inaction and basically telling me to grow a pair. You know, Lago. Last week was a real struggle for me. And I'm going to give you an in-depth why. Because I was handed information on a massive YouTuber who had in his possession child pornography. And I knew when I put that out, it was going to hurt a lot of people. A lot of them. Because a lot of people looked up to that dirtbag for whatever stupid reason. Mostly because they were children, I would imagine, when they first came out. But I still did it. It's still the right thing to do. And I was constantly worried that I was going to screw it up. Constantly. You don't seem to share that feeling at all when it comes to horrific things like this. You know how sick and tired I am of people who can do literally nothing else because here's the truth of the matter, Lugovert. There is no dirt on me. I wonder why there's no dirt on me, because I know at the end of existence, I have to answer to a just, righteous God. And I'm a lot more afraid of how he's going to respond to any furry, degenerate weirdos that are angry at me and are digging for dirt. That's why they have to manufacture it. Like they're trying to in your server. And they're in there turning the opinions of people based on conspiracy instead of fact. And that is not okay. So after that verbal reprimand, I would ban Cass and any stragglers of his I came across over the following days. So I'm sure you can imagine what happened when the man with a crumbling audience lost his doormat with a sizable platform. He scavenged for whatever he could in his attempts to stain my reputation on his way out. This would be done through an addendum to an already far-fetched paint splatter of a document a member of Cass's group threw together in their attempt to obliterate Lyo. This addendum, however, would bring me into question, as I was following suspicious artists on my personal Twitter account. They would make a list of accounts they deemed suspicious that I was following. A list, I think, perfectly encaptures the vindictive nature of Cass's cronies. Bouncing through this list, you would have artists wrongly accused of drawing cub and feral smut, artists I followed, who followed or liked work from cub or feral artists, as well as one artist who just draws macro. Because large men are on the same level as cub to them, I guess. I didn't see this as a big issue myself because to me, this was clearly something that could be solved with a few clicks of the unfollow button. I am clearly not into the content. As what I am into, I wear almost unapologetically on my sleeves. I'm a simple man. A simple man who can literally be summarized by this meme. I love the kind of woman that will actually just kill me. Damn, I really hope some hot chick paints my brains all over some fucking hallway. I'm talking full-on watermelon in the thighs level carnage. And I wanted to scare the shit out of me. And as I'm not someone who's into feral or cub, I don't feel the need to scream it from the rooftops every time the opportunity arises. I just give my opinion about it and go about my way. But unfortunately, there was an artist I was following that goes against my own morals and would justifiably raise a few questions. And believe me, they make it quite obvious which one it is. As it's the only artist here in which they show examples of their artwork as well as even link to their work on E6. As I stated in my Discord server when this first came out, I had followed Daycat after seeing an animation they did involving a Ryalu and a Lycanron. 
Later down the line, I would start to see some what they did of feral evolutions. Not being my cup of tea, I would assume I unfollowed the artists as after that point, none of their artwork would appear in my timeline. But as you can see, guess that wasn't the case. As now that follow specifically is being used to slander me as someone who's into cub. But the part about this that I find somewhat funny is that they just had to take this accusation a step further. Even if it meant embellishing details and obscuring evidence to make me look worse. Because as I said, given the morals I've stated for myself throughout the time of this channel, me following an artist who draws feral and cub would and should raise some eyebrows on its own. I fully understand that. But if you're gonna come at me for it, you're not helping your case by just attaching the worst artwork from that artist and claiming that's what I'm into. Especially given the dates these were posted and the date my account was made. But just in case that little trick didn't make things look worse, why not take the response I made to this in my Discord server and crop it just over the part where I acknowledge Daycad and falsely claim that I didn't in one of the most arrogant, eye-bleeding ways I've ever witnessed. And on top of all of this, a question I kept asking was, why were most of these just lambasting me for the likes of the artists I followed? Posts that are liked by your follows very rarely appear in your For You timeline for that reason, and not at all in your following timeline. Unless they're retweeting it, chances are I'm not going to see it. And even then, if you wanted to come at me specifically, why wouldn't you do it by using my own likes? Like, wouldn't that make more sense? Plus, if I were to like some of the content you're accusing me of being into, don't you think it would be much more damning if I was directly interacting with it? Given how open I've been about my teenage depravity and given the shit I've said about werewolves even on main, it should be obvious that I have jack shit to hide when it comes to what content I indulge in during my off time. Surely you could have found something in between the mountain of man ass and female presenting nipples that make up the likes of my ult. However, chances are that thought didn't come to mind. Because the reason they pulled this stunt wasn't initially to get at me. It was to get at Lyo, because at the time, the two of us were acquaintances. However, due to a few slip ups on my part, not properly managing my Twitter follows being one of them, the two of us have essentially cut ties. And regardless of that detail, I personally have no bad blood towards Lyle or his server. Despite him adopting a zero tolerance policy after what went down with Coyote, Lyle basically pulled a three strike system when it came to me, allowing me to at least try to get my shit together before coming to the conclusion that I was doing so too slowly for him. Which is something that I can respect a lot more than someone peddling false info about me when I finally start growing a backbone. Because when the situation came out, Lyo didn't immediately jump to conclusions. He and his group took their time going through about half of my 800 plus follows at the time, as well as my likes, which... Uh... Actually, now that I think about it, I would like to take the time to apologize for the amount of buff naked furries they probably had to scroll past. He said he scrolled through about a week's worth of my likes, so, uh... Yeah, I... I'm I'm sorry for that. Yeah, because I actually scrolled through a lot of your likes as best as I could, like a week's worth. Holy crap, you like a lot of porn, and my eyes hurt. But it didn't. I couldn't find anything that was feral. I couldn't find anything that had like animal genitals on it. Um, I could try to audit the rest of the literal year and a half you've been there, but like it would take a lot of time, because you you like a lot of art, a lot of porn. Yeah. Yeah. Dances. But to sum this whole thing up, no, I'm not into cub or feral smut. What I am into is any man, woman, or envy who looks as if they could end my life if they so choose. Bonus points for werewolves, of course. But since this ordeal happened, as minute as the whole Twitter following thing may seem to some, I have tended to my Twitter follows more thoroughly than previously auditing it out to avoid any similar misunderstandings from happening. Personally, I don't really think your follows specifically give a glimpse into the kind of content you indulge in day in, day out, but if you notice something slip through the cracks, if it's that bad, surely running it by me to let me know certainly wouldn't hurt. 
So I'd say that's about it for this one. While I'm aiming to diversify the material I cover in the future, I don't believe this ordeal should affect my future plans too heavily. I just wanted to make this video to clarify a few things so I can break myself off from my past toxic associations and go on to do better things for myself and the channel. Honestly speaking, I feel like I've aged more in these past few months than I have most of my years of living, so I think it's safe to say that I'll be steering clear of more vindictive crowds and choosing who I associate with more wisely. I should have more content for you all coming soon, preferably none of it being interrupted by me needing to explain what kind of trouble I'm finding myself in. So until those uploads come out, stay safe out there. Also, I know I should not be giving this the attention I am right now, but if you see something going around saying I'm being racist, ableist, and Discord DMs, it, it, it should be obvious it's fucking fake, right? Like, come on. Like, they do know I'm black, right? Like, if I were to say this, like, there's no PG way of explaining it. There would be a barrel down my throat. Deranged cop kills himself.